yeah, there are lots of sexual um, episodes or sexual scenes in this movie, but that is why we are here to watch this movie. <laughs> I mean, looking at the guy, the guy was literally so hot. Hey guys, what's good? You're welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairichi and this is still the Nairichi Show. If this is your first time of coming across my channel, please kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on the description bell close to you so that we get some more of my videos. If this is not your first time, you're welcome back. Thank you for joining once again. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you for always coming back to my channel or to subscribe. I'm really, really grateful. So without much ado, let's get right in, into this video. As you can see from the title, like this is not something I always do, but I just feel like I need to talk about this video or talk about this because this is my favorite movie of all time. You know what I'm talking about. This is my favorite movie of all time. So today we'll be doing a review of a recent movie on Netflix, 365 Days. I don't know how recent it is because when I went to check, I saw the movie people um, reacting to the movie or reviewing the movie as far back as three months ago yeah but I probably think it's the trailer that they were reacting to or reviewing but I just finished watching this movie a few days ago and I was like girl 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 you gotta talk about this movie you know what I'm talking about so right now for me this is like the most romantic and the most hottest movie on Netflix right now I don't know about you but if it's the most romantic and the most hottest movie for me it definitely has to be for you like this movie it's good let's jump right into this video and talk about it so yeah netflix movies are quite overrated right because sometimes most of them are not really interesting but for me i've always been banking on korean movies i did lots of korean movies yeah series so uh, those ones have been really interesting for me so far so why i even clicked on this video to download first because i saw these kids guys girl <laughs> you all know cute guys just has this thing you know they always know how to do these things to me i really don't know why i saw the the i don't know what to call it the thumbnail or the image of the movie right like the picture there and i clicked on it because this guy was too hot like he was too cute apparently this mafia boss has so many has so much money you know how mafians are they deal with illegal stuff you know how you know how they are basically mafias so there is this cute to think that the guy is cute this dude is cute if you haven't seen this movie i'm so sorry it's not going to be a spoiler alert i'm going to try as much as possible not to like divulge everything about the movie because why i'm also making this video is for those that haven't watched it that we don't haven't seen it to go and see it and for you all that have seen it please let's gist in the comment section what do you all think about this movie when i started watching the 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 the, the movie from the beginning it seemed like there it was it seemed like one of those netflix movies that you know you just get tired of watching um as the story unfolds but it wasn't the storyline it's where a mafia boss fell did he even fall in love so apparently when his father died when the mafia boss father died he kind of saw this lady on that day he kind of saw the lady probably where um, because when they killed the father they also shot him yeah so when he was probably like on the floor you know almost dying he had this image of this girl yeah, I think the girl was there, but I don't know how it came about, but he had this image of this girl and after then, he has been looking out for this girl, he has been looking out for, like after so much, so many years, he's been looking out for the girl and finally he saw the girl. Guys, guys, and yeah, this girl was already in a relationship. The directors or the producers of this movie or those, the script writers made us to know that the guy, this girl was in a relationship with like, he wasn't doing much, okay, he was, taking, he was taking the girl for granted, he wasn't satisfying the girl sexually and all of that because as you, as you watch the video, you see where the girl at some point had to use some, you know, duties to satisfy herself, which obviously that is what her boyfriend would have done. You find out that the girl wasn't really, really interested or wasn't really, really satisfied with the relationship so on her birthday when they all went to a beach or some getaway like that that is the first place this guy came to meet her they didn't even really have a, a discussion they, those that watch this movies that watch this movie definitely won't know what i'm talking about they really didn't have a discussion the girl was just probably going out like taking a work and then the guy appeared and was like hey girl are you lost that line that line hey girl are you lost and when that happened i didn't even know what was happening if someone told me that this guy was going to kidnap this girl 
if someone told me that was what's gonna happen in this movie i would have been like it's a lie the climax of this movie is that this cute guy kidnaps this girl to keep with him for 365 days i think that is where the moving name came from he gave this girl 365 days to fall in love with him <laughs> who does that like who does that from the first scene when the girl when the girl woke up um, on the on the on the bed i thought probably um, some people wanted to do something to her and someone came to her rescue i didn't even know that this guy like this guy kidnapped this girl to keep in his house to fall in love with him for 365 days so she told the girl that after 365 days if she doesn't fall in love with him he's going to let her go okay but guess what guess what it didn't even reach the 365 days they gave this girl the girl fell in love with this guy who wouldn't fall in love with this guy because this guy is too cute who wouldn't fall in love with him at some point i felt like the girl was gonna fall in love with him because you know when someone kidnaps you this syndrome stockholm syndromes where you get to fall in love with your kidnapper or someone that you know traps you that's what basically happens but i don't think that's the situation in this case right i don't, I don't think that's what happened in this movie because the guy was the guy was gentle He's a mafia boss, you know, mafians are not gentle generally, so, but he respected her, he gave her her space, he didn't touch her, he didn't do anything she didn't want him to do, they get, people that kidnap you or something, they might probably um, take advantage of you, but he basically didn't do that, he just told the girl that he wouldn't do anything to her that she wouldn't want him to do. That was so so sweet, and the girl and the guy had lots of money. You know, he was taking care of her. He probably bought her everything. And but I feel like the girl actually agreed to stay with him, like very fast. You know, some people, some persons, when you get when you get kidnapped, for a long time you wouldn't be comfortable. You'd be looking, for, you'd be looking for a way to escape and all. But she just tried once, just once, and that was it. I think just after a few days she just got comfortable. Yeah, and then they also made us know that this girl wasn't comfortable in her last relationship right so probably this relationship could probably give her what she wants and i don't know i don't know you know every movie has something to teach you or you know i don't know what this movie is all about i read someone's comment somewhere someone saying that netflix just uh, just went to bring in porn and put on their side they would have just left it as a porn video not like a real movie you get what i'm trying to say the movie it's like 50 shades of gray yeah it's like 50 shades of gray but i don't know why i feel like the energy and the the romance and the tension in this movie it's like way 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 better than 50 shades of gray yeah i don't know why it it's that yeah there are lots of sexual um episodes or sexual scenes in this movie but that is why we are here to watch this movie <laughs> I mean, looking at the guy, the guy was literally so hurt, like he was so hurt, but I don't know if you guys have seen uh, Kept Woman. Kept Woman is also a movie where the guy kidnaps this girl and keeps her with him for a long time. And the funny thing is that this Kept Woman is like a real life movie. I can't even think about it, but this one is quite different. I love the twist. I love the plot twist and everything surrounding the movie. You guys wouldn't believe what happened at the end. Like I didn't even know anything. I didn't know what was going to happen at, at every scene. I was, it, I was so involved with the movie. I really wanted to know what was happening and I enjoyed every bit of it. Yeah, I enjoyed every single bit of the movie and guess what the plot twist here was that I, I thought the movie was gonna end in a good note say the girl fell in love yeah the girl actually fell in love with him you know he fell in love she fell in love with him at the end it was too it was so fast that they were all get going to get married the guy engaged her they were gonna get married and then guess what guess what guys this was where the tragedy struck so apparently this guy had some ex-girlfriend or whoever and you know these mafia people they always have people that 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 probably like wanted to kill them or something and this girl just fell into the trap she just she just fell into into this what she didn't know about is and guess what at the end when this girl was going to get married when when she was engaged and almost close to the wedding day they killed this girl like 
I never expected it. I never, never expected it. I never expected that was going to turn out like that. But yeah, the girl died, and uh, they didn't show us where the girl died. But they showed us where the girl, the, where the guy was crying. So yeah, that's basically what happened in this movie. So yeah, what do you guys think about this movie? Do you think this movie? Do you think you enjoyed it? Do you think it's worth the hype? Because people have been hyping it a whole lot. Do you think it's worth the hype? Because I think it's worth the hype for me. I do. And um, yeah, but I don't know what it teaches you. I don't know whether it teaches you to go kidnap someone and keep the person for 365 days to fall in love with you. That is no, no, nobody should do that. No one should do that. So I don't know why that i don't know if that is there what is teaching people but apart from that the movie it's top notch it is too 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 late so guys that is basically it if you've not seen this video run to netflix and watch it it's very very interesting so i think i'm done talking about this movie i came to do my own tata food because we're talking about a kid guy here and whenever people are talking about kid guys i have to be there so till i come here next time